Now today, <laughs> today. All right, so we have a blade balancer from Spore Game. Now, this caught my eye. Why? Because it's an upgraded version of the older school balancer. Now, let me get something to open this up with. So this is what you're gonna get. Now, <laughs> I know this ain't a knife, but I can't find my knife because my kid borrowed it and he never brought it back. So we're improvising <laughs> with a screwdriver. So, now this is how you're gonna get it. And like I said, it caught my eye. Anybody that does anything with small engines needs something like this. And let me tell you why. So, it comes with an instruction manual on how to. How to put it up, how to use it, how to read it, how to, how to use it, which is very good. How to use something <laughs> tells you and shows you and helps you and saves you money if you know how to use it properly. Because believe it or not, I use these all the time. But there was problems with the other one. Not problems, it still worked. But when I seen this, I was like, that is what I needed. So it comes with the bar to, to measure for uh, if it's uh, bent or not. It comes with the unit right here. Nice and smooth, everything's tight. Okay, comes with some mounting pieces. And I guess something for the kids to play with. <laughs> so let's, let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this on the side. Now, this is by Sports Gang. Now, the older school had the magnets all around it this has the magnets inside now let me tell you why that's a good thing and it's an upgrade from what you've used before now uh, the magnets they get all nasty after use it hangs outside they're hard to clean you got to get in there with a little toothbrush and clean them all the time this is a quick wipe down and and you're good to go uh, same on the inside you just you just wipe it off now you can feel the magnets on the inside, but they're covered. Uh, very easy to keep clean. Now these are gonna hang on your wall. So they're gonna collect dust. They're gonna get dirt and grime. Now what I liked about this, like I said, it's easier to keep clean. And when it's easier to keep clean, everything continues to work good because you wipe it down, you can oil it and good surfaces. So, with that being said, that's my little rant rave about that. Uh, mounting stuff. So, they thought of a few things about mounting, which is pretty cool. So, now you think this is just a fish lure, <laughs> but it's not. When you hang this up in your shop, in your garage, wherever you're going to hang it, you have two separate mounting holes up here and down here. Now, this is how it's going to set up, and that's going to be like on the bottom. You always want this on the bottom and about eye level. So when you're, when you're working on stuff, it's going to be right at your eye. And that's about how high you mount it. You want to make sure there's ample space on each side when you're doing blades because you need to turn them. You need to make sure nothing's in the way. Now, another cool thing, it has this piece right here. Now this piece is gonna, in case you have a, a weird wall, <laughs> something's mounted wrong, uh, this is gonna be a plumb bob. You just tie a knot into the, into the end, hang it on here, and then you have a plumb bob and that tells you the level of when you're gonna mount or how you're mounting it. Because you want these as level as possible. The more level, the better they work. And they're giving you this to make to give you success. When you have success, you make money and you'll say, hey, I like this thing and people will buy more of them because word of mouth, like I said, this is really cool. <laughs> they, they give you shims to use for backing plates um, so you can adjust. Really cool. Now, here's the mounting hardware. 
that's what you're gonna screw in. Now I'm gonna show you, as soon as I put this on, that's, now this is gonna be your adjuster. And I would guess, now this all makes sense here in a minute. <laughs> It's always gonna make sense in a minute. So, this is gonna, here, you, so you guys can see it. Now, I'm putting this on down here like this. And this is get, this is like a pinch brace. So as you tighten, tighten it down, it'll pinch it so it'll stop. There we go. And I'll show you why that's a, a thing here in a minute. All right, so, so as you have a, a piece of material, uh, your blade, ooh, that snaps on there. Um, this right here is gonna tell you, oops, too far. This is gonna tell you if your blade's bent, how it's bent, why it's bent, so you're gonna touch it, or almost touch it to the side, and then as you spin it, see now it's dragging a little bit. Now it's not. So this, this, it's passable, but it's bent a little bit. And yeah. So, and this gives you the balancer to where you know which end is heavier, so you, a heavy end means a wobble. <laughs> means some kind of a vibration. So, let's take this. This is a nice magnet on there, too. So, how... I think this is going to have to go on the other side. To give me more travel. So, we'll take this off. We'll flip this around this way. And this will give me more travel on it. There we go. So, let me show you how this is going to mount. We're going to pretend this is a wall. <laughs> so, you're going to put it up on the wall, like so. And then you're gonna adjust it so it's kind of straight. Let's move this down just a hair. There we go, because I want you guys to be able to see this. Let's make sure it's straightened out here. I'm using the outer holes. Now it's probably better to pre-drill. All right. So <laughs> that's how it's going to mount on your wall. Now this here. If, if your wall is kind of funky, this will tell you, and you want that kind of even, uh, the best way to do it is to put a little knot at the very end. Oop. And that'll, that'll give you the adjustment for, for the angle. Now... <laughs> If you need to do it a little bit out or a little bit uh, in, they got you. They got you with shims. So, how this is gonna work? Now, this this will work with the round hole. This will work with the bow tie. This will work with just about anything. That's gonna go on, and boom. So, what does that tell me on this blade? <laughs> it tells me this side's super heavy. So, um, 
since I did it on the wrong side like that, let's turn this over. And right here, I, I'm, I'm blowing this, I know it. This will tell me if my blade's bent. And when I rotate it around, it's in the perfect spot on both sides. And it also tells me my heavy side. <laughs> so once you shave the heavy side down a little bit, you want this to where when you put it here, it just stays. But yeah, that's, that's heavy sided and that's gonna cause vibration. Not a huge vibration, but it's still gonna be there. When you wanna do quality work, that's where these come in. It tells you exactly which is the heavy side. You take a little off, put it back on. You might have to do it a few times. But that's where quality work comes in and this is quality equipment for your work. This tells you and makes you a better mechanic. It makes you better at what you do. It's, it's a very good balancer and it tells you how things are moving if things are out of whack. That's, that's this whole deal. And like I said, super easy to clean. Swipe it down, you're good to go. And it's got a very good slide to it. Uh, very, very precise. So, when it's out, All right, so what do I think about it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's got the things I was looking for before. It's got the easy clean, uh, easy adjustments, very sturdy, durable arms. Uh, when, when you want them to stay in place, they stay in place. Uh, very nice. <laughs> of course, now if I'd mount it on a wall, it'd be a lot better, but this is my temporary wall. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, this is this is the spore game. Uh, new age, new age means they've redesigned uh, on a good thing and made it even better. <laughs> it's the lawnmower blade balancer, wall mounted, uh, lots of adjustment, uh, spins nice and easy. You can you can adjust the the way it sits to make sure it's totally level. Uh, you make sure it's level this way, make sure it's level this way, and uh, yeah, make some quality work happen. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I got for today. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.